Hello everybody and welcome back. It's me Quark and today we are playing more Timberborn. Last time we left off we had dammed in this entire area so that way we have water permanently. At least for these beavers. Uh, we went ahead and deleted the second district because we have no need for it at the moment. Eventually I do plan on doing a secondary district but for now this is fine. I just, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do in this video. I'm thinking we're going to add aquatic farmhouses over here. Those will help out with our food production. Our food production isn't horrible. Especially because we've got this going. We've got the grilled chestnuts going. They're still harvesting them, I believe. Yeah, they're still harvesting them. And we've still got a bunch. It seems like they're not harvesting them fast enough, which is awesome. So what I'm thinking is we're going to build a path down here. Now let's do it across. Right there. Uh, gotta delete these. Gotta delete the edge paths. And then we're gonna throw on some wooden stairs. Right here. And right here. And then, do we have the aquatic farmhouses unlocked? We do not. Uh, we do have enough science for it, so we will go ahead and unlock the aquatic farmhouses. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good area. We'll slap her down right there and path her up. I don't know if we have enough space here. Oop. Space here to path it up or not. We do not. We got a set resource for demolition. And now everything should be running a little smoothly. Uh, I should go ahead and mark the cropping area or planting area. So we're going to do spatter dock. And we're just going to fill this in. This might be too much spatter dock for just these two beavers, but this is, is going to be awesome. It's going to be great having all of this planting area. And we actually we also have uh, more berries to harvest if we so choose to. For now, it seems like these two are doing fine. Because this one reaches right here. So we have 600 berries. And it looks like we got another harvester. Yeah, we got another gatherer right here. So they're still doing their thing. Uh, the reason why we need berries, if you don't remember from last time, is these breeding pods require berries and water in order to produce more little beavers for the iron teeth. Alright, our building is done. Let's lower down. Uh, we need two beavers. So I'm assuming we can take these two from the deep water pump because they are not necessary. And they didn't go there. Where did they go? Oh, it's not connected to paths. I'm like, why do we have three unemployed beavers? What's going on here? We're not connected to a path. There we go. Now, <laughs> now we have our beavers. All right, got that cleared. Now we just need to throw some storage down. Small warehouse. So rotate, rotate, and bam. And that'll help out because then they don't have to constantly... Oh! Our water's back. Uh, I want to pause these and switch them back to the outside. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build a couple more breeding pods just because it seems like we're not catching up enough to our waves of death. We might need to start building housing because housing does make them live longer. It just costs so much wood. Went ahead and we built... Oh, why is the breeding halted? Wave for nutrients. Okay. We went ahead and built this kind of unconventional. So we got two facing this way, two facing this way. And the whole reason why I did that is if we ever need it, we can always build more stuff on top. Because all these buildings are solid. So like the industrial log pile, we can build another one on top. Just rotate like that, build it there and build some stairs up. And we can do the same thing up here once these are built. We can slap whatever on top. I kind of want to do a monument eventually. Our housing is done. You saw all those beavers just pour out of there. We have 34 beavers to 40 housing. We might eventually need to build more housing. So that's why I went ahead and put this platform right here. Because we can go ahead and we can path up that platform. Like so. And then we can build two more houses up there if need be. Uh, since we already have 34 beavers. And it looks like a bunch of them are children. Which is great because we're definitely going to need them now. We might go ahead and set up the housing. We don't really have the wood for it. But once we get everything lads is needed, we can plunk them down up there. So that should be fine. Nothing to do in range. You were doing something up here? Oh, you were a lumberjack. Huh. 
you can go do something else more important. So I didn't realize our forester had such a large range, and it seems like he's keeping up with them chopping down trees. So I'm going to go ahead and expand his range a little bit. See if that way we can have more trees popping up. And I kind of want to go ahead and build another one. Uh, let's see here. I know we don't have the beavers to do it yet. But I think right here would make an awesome forester. Oh, it looks like we entered a drought. Or no, that happens in two days. Okay. So yeah, we can drop a forest, another forester here. And we can set him up for building also. Alright, our infamous drought has started. This one's seven days long. I don't think we have enough water for that. We only have 400. I really didn't think about the water situation. And I really want to do a large tank. Can we do that? We don't have the gears for it, though. I went ahead and locked it, but we don't have the gears for it. Uh, we have a crap ton of planks, though, and it requires 30, so I can go ahead and I can plop it down, and they can start at least building it. I need to go ahead and pause them because they are not necessary right now. We have six unemployed beavers now. I kind of want to go ahead and pause the breeding pods, but it's nice to have a lot of beavers. I guess I could build two pumps over here and they can keep pumping water from this lake thing. I don't think that'd hurt anything if we did that. That way we can at least keep up with our water demand. So we'll set these for high priority because I know they're out there building something else that I told them to. Probably this. Yeah. This is more important right now so they need to go ahead and move over here and start doing that because we've already dropped a bunch in water and it's only been one day. I did not plan out this water situation correctly so we need to go ahead and we need to do a gear workshop it takes a lot of horsepower so we're probably going to be working it at like half of what it should be but we'll build that and then for power we'll just drop another power wheel right beside it these are running at very low efficiency right now but once they build this Second power wheel, this should bring up the efficiency, hopefully. So yeah, the, the efficiency went from 29 to 59. So both these are now 59% efficiency, which is a lot better than 20. Because this was significantly higher, now it takes 6 hours, which is still a lot. But this is probably about the best way for us to do this on this map, because we don't have good water flow. Well, we did, but I messed it all up. And it looks like our forester over here, he's actually keeping up quite well. Um, he doesn't exactly have all of these planted yet, but he's gotten all of these. Which is a lot more surprising than I, a lot more than I expected, so that's a good thing. I'm wondering if I build a power wheel here, if the power will connect to the other buildings. I'm gonna go ahead and see. I'm really curious about that. Alright, it did. It took it from 59 to 88. So all buildings looks like transmits power even if these two don't require power. So that's awesome. So that's going to bring that efficiency up a little bit higher. Alright, and we're officially done with our large water tank. That took a while. But now that they got that, uh, I noticed that this was filling up a lot. Um, it's probably because we have six pumpers, but now we have this one. And we're going to go ahead and build a second one once we get the the gears for but we we have one and that's good because that's gonna add 300 storage so now look at that now we're past 480 finally but everything seems to be running very smoothly we have six unemployed beavers which could be allotted to other places i don't want to max it out i want to keep a redundant two at least that way in case anyone dies or anything like that we're good but Everything seems to be running very smoothly. Our lumberjacks are getting to the point. It looks like they're having a hard time actually cutting everything down, which is great. So that means our forester is able to keep up. Our second forester has planted everything that he needs, and they are actually cutting away. So we are getting a crap ton more wood. We're probably eventually going to have to start building more wood storage, which is really good to really good to think about. Actually, we can go ahead and set up more wood storage if we really wanted to. Um, but other than that, they are doing fantastic. I cannot complain with how well my beavers are doing. 
Gonna go ahead and do just double stack. That'd be great. Um, yeah, they're doing really, really good. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like we're kind of at a slow spot because we need to build up a lot of materials before we can start doing anything else. Uh, what I plan on doing in the next video is down here we have power and we have these engines which provide 400 power. We have this whole blank area up here we can convert into our industrial area. But for the engine, we require 20 wood, uh, 20 metal, metal blocks. And our only metal that I find around us or found around us is right here. Um, there could be some more somewhere. Yeah, there's a big ruins up here, but it looks like we're going to have to set up a second district either over here or over here, over here might be better because they have more land to do stuff with. So we're going to have to create a new district. We're going to have to path all the way over there, and they're going to have to, well, harvest all that metal. I think this one might be better because it's closer, and it will be a lot quicker for him to build and get up there, but... Yeah, I want to go ahead and I want to start doing an industrial area, so that's probably what we're going to do in the next video. But for now, I thank you all for watching. If you guys like the video, make sure to like the video. And if you're not already subscribed, I definitely recommend subscribing. I wouldn't quite understand why you're not subscribed at this point, because this... Is second season so if you're not do it obviously you like the videos uh, I'm gonna quit being a dork other than that I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode of Timberborn where it looks like we're gonna be starting off with a drought